Hey guys, so today we're in Monument Valley. We got here earlier this afternoon. Travis is dressed in his Western outfit, as you can tell. Right now we're just kind of out here wanting to shoot some photos, shoot some videos. We got here earlier today around 3.30 or so and oh my gosh just to see these like huge rocks in the middle of like open plains is just amazing. You have to see it with your own eyes to really just appreciate it. So, like I said, we are staying at this Golding Lodge. I accidentally pronounced it Golding. The Golding Lodge, like a hotel, and it's actually where my grandparents stayed recently when they visited Monument Valley, like the past year or so. It's really nice. We have a very beautiful room, and it has an awesome view. It overlooks some of the rock formations, and it's just absolutely stunning. Like, you have to see it in person to really fully appreciate just all of this. So the lodge is actually located right across from the park entrance. However, due to what's going on around us, the park is closed right now. So we're not able to get those beautiful stereotypical shots of the three famous, you know, rock formation things. I'm not sure what they're called, but you know, we can't really, we can get other shots of other rocks, which is fine because it's also beautiful, but yeah. Yeah, drove all the way out here and the three famous sandstone buttes. I only know the one called the Mitten, unfortunately. You can't, you can see the Mitten, but you can't see other ones that, that you can only see that shot in the park. So that's a bummer. It's funny though because like the park is so much more than just those three. Right. So it's like I'm kind of bummed but not really because we're going to be coming back to Monument Valley. We plan on like I said this big road trip in the fall. Him and I are working not far from here a couple hours we'll west. So we plan on making trips back on our days off perhaps to just you know really visit when everything is open. But right now it's still really nice to be here and just see these rocks from a distance I mean, we can still make some beautiful right. beautiful shots it's good to get a feel for the area kind of see what's up so that way when i come back for the second time i'll mm -hmm. kind of know what's going on already um really in the park it's really just about perspective you get the three of course famous sandstone buttes and there's different places i think you get like a map that has numbers all the places you can stop one of the most famous ones, of course, is John's Ford, John Ford's Point, where you know you can have the cowboy go out and get that great shot, or you can stand out yes. there. But those yes. things you can't get, but you can We've still have wonderful back. views. We gotta come back and do that. I think my grandparents had that done, or they saw it done. It was incredible. So yeah, kind of missing out on a lot, but then again, we'll be back. It's this was still worth the trip, going out of the way a little bit. So. I'm happy. And we're going to continue like taking pictures and shooting videos like tomorrow and over the course of the next few days until we make our way to where we're going, which is in Lake Powell, Arizona. We were thankful or lucky. We were very lucky to land a summer job there and we feel very blessed since Colorado didn't work out. And um, yeah, excited for new adventures. I've never been in Arizona or in Utah, so. That's pretty cool. So this blah, 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 blah. So right now we are enjoying our lunch. It's the next day and we're on our way to go to the Forrest Gump 
and we thought, well, since we skipped breakfast, you know, we were in a big hurry packing and making phone calls to, you know, it's Mother's Day, so we called his mom, called my grandma and all that. And yeah, we got ourselves some cheeseburgers and french fries. All right. <laughs> and it's just, we just parked on the side of the road, literally, and we're just kind of like, because there's no picnic tables, so we're just like, we'll just park and we'll just watch the rocks while we eat. It's, it's just gorgeous. I love it. Lots of sun out here, guys. So we just finished setting up our camp here at the KOA near Golding in here in Utah. Um, it's literally just a couple miles down the road. It's right by the park entrance. Very sunny. This place is actually pretty new. It's only been here about three years. And even though it's mostly for RVs, they have about five spots for tents. We're right up front. We have an awesome view. We got our lawn chair set up. There is water and electricity at all the campground sites. We have a grill, a little picnic table. They planted these new trees, so they're still new. I imagine in several years it'll be really like pretty shady and stuff, but it is really hot. Um, so yeah, and the bathrooms are absolutely amazing. Like, I don't know, compared to the other place we just stayed at in New Mexico, like it's like I'm staying at the Ritz or something, Ritz Carlton. I mean, I'm like, it, they almost don't even look used at all. They are so nice. But anyways, um, it is pretty hot out here, so we're fixing to get inside our car, and we're going to drive up to Valley of the Gods. Um, the guy inside the office here at the KOA recommended us to go to that place. He said it's free. It's about, what, it's about 15, 20 miles down the road, north of here, past the Forrest Gump um, area. <laughs> so... We're gonna check that out. We're just gonna see if we can do some hiking, maybe go to Mexican Hat too, and yeah, that's what we got planned for today. All right, guys, so we were headed to Valley of the Gods in our own car. However, it's a Whippy Toyota Corolla, and the road's a bit rough, so he let us take out we a got Jeep. <laughs> do y'all like ever look back at yourself and I'm just like, like so embarrassed, and you're just like, why was I acting that way? Woo! It is unbelievable. This is the first time I've been in a Jeep. Oh my god, this is like perfect. I'm so excited right now. You can't tell. <laughs> not that far of a drive. Mexican Hat is about another 15 minutes from Monument Valley so it's definitely worth the drive and I do totally recommend getting the Jeep. That's like the best thing ever and yeah we're just super stoked to keep making pictures and shots and stuff so super excited. Wow. 